Hi, my name is Suresh Kumar. I'm the business head of Tupsud Product Service Division looking after South Asia region. Uh, you know, IoT is an evolving area and hence the, the standards also an evolving area. The WPC, which is the body uh, of Government of India, which regulates uh, the wireless products, they have certain um, regulations. Uh, and then these regulations also evolving regulations now. But basically what it, it, it asks for, the safety of the products, number one, and also safety of the radio, the frequency what it, it emits. Uh, these are two the basic things. So, uh, the as I said, the standards is addresses, but I'm sure this will evolve in much better fashion, and also which can the, the, the normal consumers can relate to. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Now, when we um, talk about the wearable devices, now it comprises about so many components. It has basic material. It could be a textile. It could be plastic. It has electronic components and then you also have internet of things. So it's a combination of everything. Now, we are prepared to, we, we, we are actually partnered with the Wearable Technology Association globally. We are their most preferred partner to ensure the quality of the products. So if for example, if it is made up of a textile or plastic material, we are able to ensure that when you wear those, whether does it affect your skin? Does it have any uh, toxic elements which can damage your skin or can create any problems for your body? Now comes to uh, any wearable device have a battery or certain circuits where we could we could ensure that whether the safety is ensured as per different standards. There are uh, our Indian standards, there are European standards, uh, under different standard various safety parameters are covered. It also have a wireless element, what you call it as what Internet of Things, where it talks about um, uh, the, the safety of the, the frequency, whether it interferes with other equipment and so on and so forth. So we have tests like specific absorption tests, there's a test like electromagnetic compatibility test. So we are able to cover the whole package of the wearable devices with our various expertise of labs and experts. So you have the issue of cost, affordability, and there comes a lot of products are coming to the market. And everybody is not able to probably afford a, a branded uh, smartphone. So people want how that technology with convenience. But the only way according to me to, to stop this would be to bring cost competitiveness, start manufacturing in India. Now for, for example, right now India is not well known for a high-end smartphone. You know, we are a market for probably a lower smartphone. But things are changing. So once we could manufacture these high-end products in India, the cost would come down and people could afford a better product. I would say till we are able to offer a, a cost-effective product to the, the masses, you would, you would have these issues. For example, you may not use a wearable device, not just because of it is its core functions are happening, maybe if the body is damaged, you may not use it. So when we test these products, we not only test the safety or uh, electromagnetic compatibility, we also test for the, for example, the mechanical integrity. And also we test for the how it react to different climatic conditions. For example, if it say corrode, if and, and if it is your, your appearance damaged, people may not use it. So uh, we have those testing program not only address safety but also address the other parts to see whether this product can be used for a uh, long time. So I think if you were able to offer a quality product, the customers would use for a long time. various regulations of which set by the different country countries mostly related to whether these products have any safety risk that's the basics where it's been regulated now of course there's another part is that whether the product performs to the 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 intended conditions intended parameters but the basic parameters of regulatory standards is to see whether the products uh, is safe to use 
So that means you have basic safety testing involves whether if you handle a product, whether are you getting a shock, is the product catches fire, whether is the product generate heat which will harm you, so on and so forth. And there are tests like you know if for example you use a mobile phone or use a power bank, it, it, it may tend to drop from your hand. If it drops with the brakes, you know, it's kind of mechanical integrity. The other parts, many of the products also generates unintended, you know, radio frequencies. Whether it generates, if it generates, does it interfere with the external conditions? And also whether the intended radio frequency is it within the limit where it can harm the, the, the humans. So there's various uh, levels of test, but basically the basic principle of this test revolves around the human safety, the environmental safety, and also you can test the products in terms of, um, you know, as I said, just explained earlier, in terms of whether how it behaves with climatic conditions, just to ensure that you know, the product will damage the various conditions and so on, so on, so forth. But, but the basic part is you are de-risking that safety part. You know, you are ensuring the product is safe to use. We need to simulate the conditions where these products are used. That's the basic principles of evaluating the product. So for example, climatic conditions. We have climatic chambers which can simulate various conditions. You, know, you could adjust the temperature, you could adjust the humidity, uh, various other factors to simulate those conditions. Even for example, within India, you know, the different parts of India products have different conditions. So normally what these products are tested as the worst situation. To see even the worst situation, this performs. Okay. It's only the worst situation has been evaluated? Or that's the only evaluation criteria? No, see the, the whole idea, see basically what you do in an evaluation of product, you're doing a risk management. That's, that's what, on and on and on. So basically, you, you normally consider the, the, the critical situations and then still see the products perform. The product perform in a critical situation, it is expected to perform on a normal situation. You, you raise a very, very valid question. Now see, you're right, we, were, we started as a steam boiler inspection company and you know, we, we are a big way into inspecting lifts, elevators, but you're absolutely right that now the, the world is in a lot of things and you probably don't have to physically go and inspect probably you can have a sensor and evaluate in fact we are we are doing various pilots and we are we act, actually successful um, in implementing using internet of things in our business because we know this is a future because your manual intervention would get replaced by this internet of things and we are aware we are already working in many areas using these technologies